Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I think our team in general, we thought it was going to be an easier game than it was. And um, I thought we lacked maturity there. I mean, we, we had, obviously, we fought from behind last night to win a game. I think guys thought it was going to be easier tonight. It's never easy in this league. And um, so I, I thought maturity overall was a, was a big factor tonight in how we, how we played the game. Um, and it's something we have to work on. Run another game where you guys, you know, started behind the eight ball. Uh, they gave up. The, you guys gave up the first goal. Just what can be done to get off to faster starts and throw the first punch here? Well, we we took a couple bad penalties to start with. You know, we had some of our upperclassmen took some poor penalties early in the game, and it cost us. And they were, they, you know, they're good on the power play, and they scored um, and got out in front early. Um, and again, just going back to our maturity, we didn't play the way we needed to play early on in the hockey game. And we didn't, we didn't have the desperation or urgency that we needed uh, to win a game Saturday night in this league. And that's, that's about all there is to it. Ron, going into a game against David Ference, what is the strategy to try and minimize his impact on the game? Well, he's a terrific player. I mean, it's hard to, you know, you just, you have to take good angles on him. You've, and it, and it, that's, that's easier said than it is done because he's so dynamic with the puck and the way, um, you know, their decor in general attacks with it and the plays that he can make up ice. So, um, you know, obviously you want to be physical on those players and you want to take good angles on them so they can't generate a lot of speed, but, you know, he, he's a player that's going to make his plays during the game and, um, you know, he's a, he's a big part of, of what they do offensively, especially on the power play. How would you, how would you assess Jackson Stover's performance tonight? Uh, he was off tonight. He was off tonight. Um, I think that kind of went with the rest of the team. I don't think he was prepared to, um, you know, again, like the rest of our guys, I don't think he was prepared to, to be in the kind of game that we we're going to be in, especially early on when you give them two power plays right off the bat and, and give them th that kind of quality of, of scoring opportunities. Thanks, Ron. Yep. Any more questions? I got one, Mike. Thanks. Yep. Uh, yeah, Ron, just is there something that might be able to settle down once, you know, you know, Nate comes back, Teresa comes back, you guys have a full back to normal, so to speak. Might that help with some of the issues that you guys are having right now? Well, I, I think you know, we, we have, you know, we like our team. We, we've said that before. We like our team. Um, you know, we're in a situation now where we've got three games coming up in four nights. So there's not a lot of time to, um, you know, have preparation time and get yourself where you need to go. Our guys know how they need to play the game. And, uh, you know, we're having the difficulty finding consistency in how they have to play the game. Uh, and that's our charge as a coaching staff. And, um, but we have to find it quick here because there's not a lot left in the season. Ron, eight of the first 10 games this year, you guys have fallen behind in. Um, just what have you diagnosed, I guess, early on with the group and, and how might you change that? Well, I think, you know, our, our starts, like you say, haven't been good, but we, we you know, I, I think our, our ability to get through neutral zones, you know, I thought tonight we made a ton of soft plays early and, and that's something you can't do against a, a team like BU that transitions so well. Um, but again, it goes back to thinking the game's going to be easier. So you try something that, uh, is ordinarily uh, not the way we play the game. Um, so I thought in general, I think when, we, when you come out and you make soft plays and you allow the other team to dictate the starts, um, you know, you get what you get tonight and, and in the past uh, games that we've fallen behind. Considering you guys um, were down three, nothing, you got back within a goal. Is there anything to take out of that in terms of a positive or is it, is it basically just you know, not like really? You not really. I mean, obviously, you like uh, you like the guys fighting back, but you you don't uh, you don't want to have to put yourself in that situation all the time. Thanks, Ron. Yep.